Okay, folks, today I want to talk about, I have a Ream air handler here, okay? Ream's a pretty uh, popular brand throughout America. I love their new platform, the 2015 platform. But here's the thing I want to talk about today. You notice this is right out of the box, and it comes right out of the box, left-hand service, okay, or left-hand discharge, however you want to call it. So what I want to talk about today is... I'm going up into my attic access space or wherever I'm going to set my unit. Does my service go to the left or does it go to the right? This particular case, the job I've got going on tomorrow, is actually going to go to the right. So I'm going to flip the coil around. I'm going to show you how this works, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the coil, I'm going to spin it around. And why do I have to? change it, the coil, because the drains, the condensate drains, the condensate drains have to be on the bottom drawer for the water to flow, right? Okay, so I'm going to turn it up on its back. Now, most of the time you're going to do this stuff in the attic. Sometimes you can actually put it through the access, but these coils weigh so much, we usually recommend taking the coil out anyway. So, I've already taken the liberty of taking some of the screws out. So I'm going to go ahead and just pull this loose. One thing I want to point out here is the TXV. You got a TXV here, okay? Now, one thing that we always want to do is make sure before we do anything any further, we want to make sure we have nitrogen in this coil. This thing is factory uh, nitrogen charge storage around 150 psi. So I usually just take a small pair of my channel locks. I just pull this bolt out. Now I want you to listen for a, a popping sound for the nitrogen, okay? Now I'm just going to take my fingers and listen to this. Do you hear that? That means this coil is good. There's nothing wrong with this coil, so we'll proceed forward. What I usually do after that, just so it doesn't get any debris or anything in here, because you don't want it to get trapped in the coil itself, I always take some tape. And just tape over it real good here just to keep the dirt out of it, okay? Okay, another thing I want to point out to you is this I, I've, I've taken some screws out right so we didn't waste time with it. This black part, this little piece of plastic is extremely important right here, okay? Don't lose this piece because what happens, this protects this small piece of copper, the TXB uh, coil. And uh, if, it, if it goes in here, it'll, it'll cut, it'll scratch, it'll, it'll just be bad. Don't lose this. This is very valuable, okay? Taking this out. Now, what I'm going to do here is I've got the, uh, i got to take this door out. I've already taken some screws out of here, too, because we got to remove this bracket, okay? I've laid my screws here. You know, Rain puts actually extra screws in the bag just in case you misplace one or two, but try to put them all in a nice spot here. Okay, now this is where I wanted to start marking some stuff. I want you to notice the bracket here, okay? And I'm going to write front. Okay, and I'm actually going to put a arrow here. That's what I'm going to put. Alright, now I'm going to go ahead and take this loose. Let me see something here, guys. Alright. Okay, and then, folks, what I always try to do myself, this coil actually will come in and out here. But a lot of times, the ream unit, especially on the larger tonnage, the, the lip here for the coil pin gets caught right here. So I always just take these out. And once again, I mark the front. The biggest thing here is, is pay attention to what you've got going on here, guys. Because you're in an attic, you're hot, you're sweaty. You know, you're, you're trying to get this done in a 
somewhat of a timely manner here. It's very important. Okay, so, so now I'm going to pull this out. I'm just going to come straight out with it. Now that I've got free space, pull it out. And I'm just going to set it down out of my way here for now, guys. Okay, now here's the important part. These brackets have to be changed. I want you to come here and look at these brackets. And one thing I want you to notice is one bracket is taller than the other, and that's for the drain here. If you look at this, I'm just going to put it back in here. The drain, okay? So the shorter bracket goes on the drain side. So let me show you how easy this is. I usually just take a marker, and this is what I tell you guys. You want this bracket to go on this corner, and you want this bracket to go on this corner. Okay, that way you can't mess it up. So there's three screws on each side here, right? So we're going to come over here. Okay, now here's the key part right here. Notice how I said the bracket goes on this side. I want you to watch my hand as I turn this. I'm going to take this lip. I'm just going to rotate it like this. This lip faces the front, the front direction, okay? That's a very important that you understand it. All I did was take it and turn it about 90 degrees. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start these out nice and slow so I can get my screws in. Tell them that you know where the bracket was because it has pre-made almost right. You know there. what? Good point. Otherwise, they didn't know where the bracket. Good was. point. Uh, what Rob said here is the bracket uh, has to line up with three three holes. So when you flip it, you you know right where to go. They're already actually pre-drilled. Let me show you on this side here. See how the holes are already pre-drilled? They're they're set for you. All you gotta do is just take them out and put them in. So now I'm gonna do the same thing with the other side. I'm going to rotate it. I'm going to take out the three screws. Okay, then I'll, I'm going to do it. This, this bracket goes here, right? So I'm going to take it and I'm just going to rotate it very slow and easy. And once again, the lip faces to the front. Okay, once you get the first one started, the rest of them are fairly easy. Okay. Okay, now what we've got here, we've got the brackets flipped. The coil's ready to go, so now I'm going to pick up the coil, and I'm going to rotate the coil. And then I want you to watch how this coil goes in. So, if you get over here, you'll see this groove here. This groove slides in, right here. Okay, now see how the plastic lip is going in right here? Just be careful not to tear your insulation, guys, okay? Just go down nice and slow and easy, and you're all set. Now that's the reason the short bracket goes in the side because of this drain, okay? So I'm gonna put my bracket back on, and I've got front. And it has to be put on a certain way because if you don't put this on correctly, the doors won't go on, okay? So I'm gonna grab me four more screws. And what I might do here, I may not put all the screws in, guys, because I don't want to waste your time watching the video of me putting in screws. That's pretty simple. 
I just want to show you the reason why we marked it. Now I'm going to leave two screws out. I'm doing it on purpose. Now here's this part again. You always want to put this on first. Hold a second. Stop. Okay, so I'm getting ready to slide the uh, plastic part on. So this is that plastic part. I was telling you how important it is. You want to put it right on the crook here, okay? So you want to go ahead and start with this on. Okay? And then we're going to just take the plate like this and we're going to slide it very gently. You always want to pull this past the plastic piece, okay? So we're going to put this in here just like this. Now see how nice and neat that sets in? Okay. I'm going to go ahead and put a couple screws in this. Sometimes you just got to work with a little bit to get it to uh, fasten up, guys, okay? Okay. All right, now I'm not going to go through and put the doors on and everything. I'm just going to show you something here. Okay, okay you want to make sure this is all nice and neat here, clean, okay? And we're going to put the doors, it's going to go just like this a little bit over it. Here's the point I wanted to make for here. This piece of plastic here has to be past the door because this is very easily cut. See how tight that is? If this is not in here, it could cut this little TXV uh, piece of copper here. Okay. Alright, so we got the screw holes lined up here. Screw holes are lined up here. Everything's lined up. That the whole purpose of this bracket is to make sure if they line. I'm just going to set this top piece on real quick. See how the holes are lining up. And that is it, guys. Now I have taken it from a left-hand service to right-hand service. See now your supply is on the right hand. That's really all there is to it. If you have any questions, uh, we put everything on the, our website, JonesAirConditioning.com. If you like this video please share please subscribe and please comment this is just a, a rough five to ten minute video on how to switch these coils over i could have went into another 10 or 15 minutes more on screwing and unscrewing and all this stuff but you get the basics if you have any questions just give us a blog on our uh, google and i'll answer for you thank you